the number one rule in investing in NFT art, love what you own. Joel, you are a big proponent of feeling passionate about any piece you buy. If you're in the game just to kind of collect something that you don't love, and then you have the expectation that it's just about kind of financial reward, then you're probably going to be let down. But if you collect art that you love, um, you're always going to have value there. Um, and then hopefully um, there's also going to be that, that added bonus um, from an appreciation in the assets. Currency expert Joel Kruger has seen those bonuses in NFT Wealth Builder this year. Despite a bear market in crypto, a number of NFT projects have appreciated in value, like Gazers by the artist Matt Cain. It's up 181% since Joel recommended it. I think about this with a lot of the projects. They're doing something different. They're pushing the limits. A lot of it comes from my ability to trade. Over the years, as a successful trader, knowing how to look at things, analyze markets, and see where I think there might be value, even in conditions uh, might be challenging. He recognized the value early on in Chromie Squiggles. It was the first project on the successful platform, Artblocks, which is focused on generative art. Chromie Squiggles, they're simple, but they just are so interesting. They kind of incorporate the full color spectrum into the works. They're also the genesis of that platform. So there's some historical significance around that project too. I think when we recommended them it was around five ETH and now they're substantially higher. Five ETH over the summer was less than $7,000. Now the cheapest Chromie Squiggle is nearly 17 ETH, about $27,000. It does seem like there are certain projects that have really outperformed that are up significantly right now on a cryptocurrency basis, on a dollar basis. Um, and, and, and it does feel great. Um, um, part of that is also recognizing these things early enough so that even if there's a pullback, the value still um, still way ahead of the game. Even the stuff that's kind of not as kind of uh, uh, underperforming right now and not relative to the rest of the market, I think we've significantly outperformed, but even the stuff in our portfolio that's not doing as well, um, all of the stuff that I've recommended, whether it's a project or an artist, um, is exceptionally active um, and they continue to produce. Joel is attracted to any facet of the space that evokes emotion. Talk about pixel art and why it's something that you've gravitated toward. It's all about, in my opinion, um, working with nothing to create beauty. You're working with these little small uh, pixelated kind of cells and you're putting them all together um, to create an image. Um, and to me, that is uh, extraordinary. One pixel artist that's captured his attention, Khalid. All of them have like a subtle animation, whether it's a water movement or a twinkle in the sky from the stars, or if it's lights from the city, the scenes that he sets, there's a nostalgia to them. There's a familiarity to them. They're whimsical. He says the scenes are an homage to everyday life. We live in a world where we're always thinking about, you know, kind of the grandiose, what we're going to do and where we're going to go and what's the next thing. And yet here we're living in these moments where we're surrounded by all this beauty and all these moments that are kind of lonely without kind of recognizing them. Aim to find those collections you feel immersed in. It stands out when you find an artist that you connect with is that they have a unique visual language, something that is very specific to them. Just like when you hear a certain musician that has a certain sound, uh, you have an appreciation for it because it's unique and it's distinct. We have an exciting day today uh, because uh, we have our first we have our first trade. Joel is uh, taking his own unique perspectives into this space online, doing live market analysis with folks. Bank of Japan, uh, they keep talking like it's amazing. They keep sticking to their stance on monetary policy, even in a world where inflation is rocketing higher. Here, Joel talks about stocks, commodities, and traditional and digital currencies he believes are set to soar. That pressure on commodities that we've been seeing, particularly on oil, has affected commodity currencies, broadly speaking. This forum is available to members of the premium group, Weiss Partner Circle. Joel, tell us about Weiss Live. You are looking at the financial markets with investors watching in real time. Jessica, this is right in my wheelhouse. Um, this is... Uh, what I was born to do <laughs> in many ways, uh, I, I, you know, it, it's, it's, it's really comes down to, um, an opportunity for me to kind of take, uh, my desire to kind of want to be creative and have fun, entertain a little bit, and then bring in all of my trading experience over the years. I love markets, anything that's moving, that's liquid, that's deep, that's active that you can get in and out of. I'm all for it. And I love talking to people. I am live and there's a chat open to all the clients that have access to the show. I'm seeing their comments and their questions and I'm responding in real time as we're going, uh, which makes it uh, interactive and fun. 
<laughs> yeah, there he is. <laughs> There's John from the car, everybody. Every day isn't uh, going to be a trade. Most days aren't trades, but uh, uh, trading is all about kind of uh, a, a discipline and making yourself better, in my opinion, as a person. It's a very difficult thing to do. Uh, not because it's intellectually challenging, uh, but because uh, the market kind of is able to exploit our weaknesses uh, in ways that we never thought. Um, and, you know, uh, certain disciplines that we think we might have, it kind of breaks you down. Things that you know that you shouldn't be doing, you end up doing. Um, and so to be able to conquer that um, is really to be able to conquer a lot of the things that are happening with inside of you that extend beyond just trading in your everyday life. My hope is that people walk away each day with a smile on their face, feeling like they've got value for what we've done and feel good about their day. Here's to good days and good investments. NFT analyst and currency expert, Joel Kruger. It is always a great pleasure of mine to get your unique insights. Thank you for making time for me today. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me on. And I look forward to seeing you and talking with you again.